But what's going on today, guys? It's Kevin. <sighs> I did it big this time. I got a box of the first off the line, Immaculate. Uh, now, I'm addicted. There's no way around it. I love the Dutch auction. It's a little bit of a rush. <laughs> don't tell me. I don't even know why it is. It's just pretty, you know, pretty neat kind of hanging around trying to see what, you know, are you going to buy it now or are you not? So, um, I was able to get one box and that's really all I can afford. I actually was able to grab today some uh, Prism first off the line. So it uh, sold for a really good price. So I was pretty happy with that. This I overpaid for. Um, I, this is the first time, or this is only the second premium package I've opened now at this point. Uh, the other one was being the Impeccable. If you hadn't seen that video, I will try to remember to link it up here in the corner. Um, other than that, um, it's been a good, you know, a good couple months, I will say, for this channel. I have enjoyed doing this and starting it. Uh, we're sitting at 83 subscribers right now. I'm uh, thankful for everyone's help. I just posted the video for the giveaway. If you hadn't seen it, I'm going to link it up here in the corner too, if I can remember. Um, if not, remind me. But uh, I haven't reached out to the winners yet. I wanted them to watch the video if they could. Um, but if you've seen that video and you are the winner, make sure you message me on Instagram at KB Sports Cards. Uh, that'll be the easiest way for me to be able to get a private chat going with you. Um, other than that, I will reach out in the comments and go that route to get in touch with them via uh, KB Sports Card on Instagram. Right, but without any further waiting, let's get to ripping this. All right, so let's try not to tear this up this time. We're just gonna cut into the corner. And get to, to ripping. So never even hold an immaculate card. Same as Simmons Impeccable. The only thing I've ever kind of been a part of is Flawless. Um, and some, I have some National Treasure cards that I've gotten through breaks, but I'm, I'm kind of out of breaks right now. I'm paying too much for a lot of this stuff. I can't afford it. Can't afford this, but it's enjoyable, and I'm enjoying doing it. So um, let's uh, keep them likes and comments, and uh, let's keep supporting the channel. And I hope everyone is around when we grow. But uh, let's we'll see. All right, so it's in a box. Let's see, nice tin can, very nice tin can. Let me get some spacers. A spacer. I need one more spacer. Maybe I don't need one more spacer. So I guess we didn't even go over this. So before we get into it, so we're only looking at there's six cards in here, I believe. Yep, six cards uh, on the immaculate. This is our hit list. So there's a pretty good numbered list. Um, we're of course hunting one of ones. That's our big thing here is one of ones, but. Um, Jersey autos, Jersey patch autos, RPAs, uh, all the works. But uh, let's, uh, I guess really the only two things we're looking for, I mean, our big hit's going to be Kenny Pickett right now, as well as some uh, Desmond Ritter. I don't know. They finally come out and said today that the Falcons are not pursuing um, Lamar Jackson, which I'm okay with. I, I would have loved to have drafted Lamar and had Lamar on the team from the get-go. I'm not, I, I really like quarterback development. Um, so one of my things was that if we can, you know, get them for a reasonable price, but I really want to see what Desmond Ritter has. I'm okay watching the Falcons, you know, fumble around for another year without having any kind of, um, try to open these up. Without having any kind of, um, you know, I will give the boy a year and I, I mean, a couple years. I mean, Look at Jerry Goff. He's put up one of his best seasons ever, and you know we started to write him off a few years ago. So quarterback de development is, is a thing. Um, I wish we could have more successful quarterbacks, and we'll never have a quarterback like Matt Ryan, or at least it won't be in probably my lifetime because we've really only had two at this point in the entire – only one of them was made it in my lifetime. But let me find one more spacer card, or I'll tell you what. I've got this right here. I haven't, uh, so I've got a, uh, this is a redemption for Julio Rodriguez. Um, I'm going to use it as a spacer card, but let's see what we have here on the first card. All right. Travis Kelsey, number to 29, 23, number five on the print. So that's just a Travis Kelsey base card or numbered card. 
So that means we're gonna I need to grab the thick ones. Sorry, I did not come prepared. I was too excited. This was waiting for me when I got home from work. So um, it's you know I want to do some flawless. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford it. The NBA is looking extremely, extremely expensive. And um, Here's our next card. Let's see if we can slide these over. So Travis Kelsey on the first, and then I saw this name here. It's a rookie card of Bailey Zappi on a nice, big, thick patch. Look at that. Huge card stock on this, which is what you're going to see in a lot of these premium sets. But look at that. It's a sock, I believe. That is our, that's the striping. But of course, uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. It is not game one so we're gonna see that real quick um, none of these rookie cards do so yeah, enclosed material is not from any specific game or event ah, go figure all right let's see here on our, all right actually we might need to go from the back after this one mark andrews on the patch at a 99 so, now this is uh, the first off the line exclusive. I think there's some uh, that may be on the very back. But let's go to the next day. So there's three of our six cards. And actually these all should be autos. So. Boom. Two of five on, for the AJ Brown. There we go. Nice, sick patch, though, on a number to five. Look at that patch. Look at that. That is a sick patch. Always the Nike checks. Really nice. Now, this is AJ Brown. This could be game worn. Ah, no, it's not. Not from any game worn, but nice patch. All right. Let's go with our last two here. Let's pull from the back on this. Carolina Panthers, Matt Corral. Look at that patch right there. That's number to 19. So that's going to be one of their first off line exclusives. But look at that patch. Man, I really hope he gets a start or at least gets to see some game time next season. Uh, I, I don't think the, you know, I don't know. We'll see where they sit on this draft, but I think he could be uh, he could be a decent quarterback. He, yeah, but uh, a little bit of development. So we'll see. Nice for uh, Matt Corral. We'll take that one. And for our last card, New York. Michael Strahan, how about that? We will take that. That right there will go to a personal collection for me. Uh, Michael Strahan has been way too big in this, um, and for, for our culture and our world, for him to be just a card, name on a card like this. Uh, Man, this is that is awesome. That's only numbered to 92 as well, and that looks nice. But of course, it's got to be a stickered auto. I mean, come on now. But Michael Strahan is auto right here out of the Immaculate. So here's our two autos. We'll go over them. Michael Strahan, we hit uh, that's Carolina Panthers, Mr. Matt Corral. We're going to really see how he plays this season. Hopefully, maybe we'll see what they do. Um, but they're, I think they're sitting kind of midway in the draft unless they draft up. Sick one of our two of five on the patch right here for A.J. Brown for the Eagles. Um, this would be a really good one if they would have got their W in the Super Bowl, which I'm not mad about by any means. Mark Andrews right here out of 99. That's number 28 on the print for a dual patch. Or, I'm oh, sorry, two-color patch. And then this uh, Bailey Zappi. Two color patch right here out of 10 for the Patriots. That is a very nice patch. And then our Travis Kelce numbered base, basically a parallel for the base is numbered to 23. Well, here y'all have it. That was, uh, I don't know if I made my money back on that one, but I will take the straight hand. That's a nice personal collection right there. I will, I will definitely take that card. So, um, I really, uh, guys, thanks for everyone coming out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got Prism coming. I'm hopefully going to do a little bit more Prism. I've also got some Mosaic. I'm going to do some more. 
of I want to compare some hobby and some retail and we right now I think we've got four different versions of hobby we've got hobby we've got the no huddle we've got the choice and then I think Tmall just launched today so I'm gonna try to round all those up and try to do a comparison uh, the prices have kind of come down so we're gonna see how that sits but um again let's uh let's get and keep ripping and thanks everybody for supporting the hobby too we're looking at uh, a little unsure future with some of the rights to uh, some of the sporting brands to the cards but uh, everybody keep ripping what you want and enjoying it while we can and uh, we'll see everybody next time thanks again